Oh yes, Don is back on my YouTube channel. How are you doing, my dear friend? Man, I am stupendous. I can't be happier to be joining my homie Senges from across the waters. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, baby. I'm doing great, but uh, I want to talk with you because you your last 48 hours has all, all also infected me <laughs> <laughs> because a lot of stuff is happening there in the U.S. and and I I'm not sure what's going on, so I just want to reach out just the way you reach out to me. So we have to talk about this Canada business. So let me hear what do you have on your heart that you want to share. You mean six-time Twippy winner, top podcaster, Canada, who is currently in, in some kind of freak downward spiral that somehow I got involved in? You mean that thing in the last 48 hours? That Absolutely. Thing, yeah. You yeah. want me to cover just the basics of what's been going on? Let me tell you what I know, and then you can fill it up, okay? Bad. So, uh, so here we are. Me, my boy, Kev. Rolling through New York City. Hearing Don's excuse. Well, here's the deal. Here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. Y'all going to have to enjoy Don's Facebook Lives from now on because Canada's done. Y'all are done. I'm not doing any more Facebook Lives, Kev. No more Facebook Lives. Lives. Fuck, fuck. Like, it's over. It's over. You can have so that guy, that clown's excuses and his Facebook live and his newbie stuff. And we're just going to go to Wolfgang's Steakhouse. Wolfgang's, right? Yeah, Wolfgang's, yeah. Wolfgang's, yeah. Wolfgang's, yeah. Wolfgang's, yeah. Wolfgang's, yeah. Meet him rare, meet him rare. Meet him like, it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. We're, we're done. We're done. We're done giving you guys all free content. You can go listen to this guy's BS. Like, seriously, a clown, a clown. Oh shit, Canada's got, he's got the Gucci, the Louis Vuitton on it, Don. Enjoy paying off those student loans, brother, because you just sent everybody your way. We're going this way, right? Oh, okay. okay. Right. All right, so guys, the yeah. Facebook page is getting shut down tonight, and you're going to go, and you're going to be able to enjoy Don's garbage, okay? Because it's garbage. Garbage in, garbage out. I'm tired of all y'all. I don't really care. I've been presenting to Fortune 500 companies today. I don't care. Let this little guy with his little premium collection. It's over. It's over. I'm done. I'm out. Okay? We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Are we done, Kev? We're done. We're done. Champ is here. The champ is here, right? Six times the award winner. We're done. So it's over. Bye. Go away. As we have uh, differences in our hours, when we're working, you're sleeping. So seven, eight, nine hours later, you put up a live video telling about what's going on. On that video, you were, I, I could just, I could feel your pain. Okay, on that <laughs> video, I, I could really do it. Just, uh, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm thinking a lot of people are reaching out to you because I was in your shoes for a month ago. And I can just imagine how people are reaching out to you. So you have this beef going with one of your great friends, Canada. Apparently, yeah. 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 And, now you, to me. and now because of you, he shut down his show. You shut down Canada. I mean, it's it's look, it's completely unintentional and, and really sad. Um, you want me to just cover like the basic backstory for everybody so I don't have to go through a whole live stream? Um, you know, but basically, you know, we all know this guy. He's got this, you know, abrasive attitude, which he attributes to, you know, he's in New York. And I, and I get that to an extent. But, you know, he claims to be, well, I'm, I'm friends with you. I'm just busting your balls or whatever. But it, it just comes across as like abrasive. And the comments just kind of kept coming. He'd make fun of, you know, the views that I would have for some reason. He'd make fun of how many Patreons I had, um, you know, and, and whatnot. For the most part, I was trying not to engage. I think, you know, if it was garbage, he was kind of showing that himself, you know. Um, but then like, you know, my wife popped on there cause she's, you know, allowed to use the internet and everything. And she's like, sure. Hey, you know, kind of getting them back a little bit. Like what, what's wrong? Are you jealous or something? You know, I mean, the dude's got six twippies and it's been doing this for eight years. I mean, I'm eight months deep into this. I'm just starting out. So obviously I'm not, you know, assuming that I'm, you know, his competition or whatever. And then, you know, he gets a little bit, you know, abrasive with her, but then, but then what he does is an end run around that and texts me directly with just inappropriate kind of borderline abusive misogynistic comments. You know, you need to, you know, why are you letting your wife fight your battles for you? And like, first off, why are we having a battle? Excuse me. Cool. Um, 
you know, uh, you need to get your wife, you need to tell her to calm down. That's how it started. Then it was, you need to tell her to STFU. You need to put a leash on her. And it's like, whoa, where wait, is, wait, 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 where wait, is wait. this energy coming from, man? Don, Don, wait. Here in Europe, uh, I, I just need to know if, if, if it's the same in the US, okay? I just want to clear one thing out. S the F up and stuff like that, okay. That's not cool. But saying you have to put a leash on your wife here in Europe, it means treat her like a dog, put a leash around her neck and just control her. Is it the same in the US? No, yeah, that's a pretty terrible comment, you know. Um, you know, we, we oh. might joke around, you know, if you're if your seven year olds running around being crazy, be like, hey, throw a leash on that kid or something. But you know, not to like someone's wife. Right. No. Um, and like I said, in my life, like I've been friends with people for you know over 20 years and we would never say something like that, no. you know? Yeah. No. And I mean, that's if you're, cool. if you're married and you want to go and try to tell your wife to calm down when she's legitimately upset, that's just that. I mean, how can anybody be married for five minutes and know that that's not a good idea? What did <laughs> you say, say right? back when he said, put a leash on her? So here was the thing, right? Um, I was out of town working um, and I was doing a, a live stream on YouTube. I was trying it out. It was 90 minutes. We had about 25 people in there. Great conversation. So all this is is blowing up while I'm doing a live and, and I have no idea that it's go, even going on. I finished oh, the live. and your you wife know. is at home. You're yeah, not yeah. And, she, and she's oh, just like, okay, okay. You know, and, she, and she's not jumping on there with any kind of savage energy, just trying to give him kind of back a little bit about what he's putting out, you know, which should be fair play. Um, she's anyway, so, so cool, you know. She's a keeper. She <laughs> oh, really she, got your back. She's a keeper. Absolutely. She's, a, she's absolutely a firecracker, man. She's yeah. not <laughs> submissive at all. Um, you know, but I, I end the live and then I look at my phone and I've got all these messages just in a row. And it's like, you know, basically I kind of, why aren't you responding to me? Okay, if you're going to be like that, why are you biting the hand that feeds you? And like, it just almost what? like delusional kind of behavior. You know, how, how feed you? What? Right, right. Bite the hand that feeds me. Yeah, it feeds me garbage. Yeah, I'm gonna bite that hand. What are you? What are you talking about, dude? <laughs> and you know, <laughs> I've heard about this guy's you know behavior before. People have reached out. Now, you know, I, I'm still kind of new into this. I wasn't there when these things happened, when drinks were thrown in faces or people were slapped around or whatever happened. You know, so I'm kind of like, all right, well, let me just see how this goes. But I'm gonna stay guarded, right? You know, I'm not emotionally yeah. invested in this stranger I'm talking to on the internet, of course. Um, but then, yeah, that was real. And I'm like, man, okay. Like, I guess it's my turn now, you know, Jengis made this video and now here I am just unwittingly in this spot. You know, I don't, I'm not seeking out <laughs> drama. I just like talking about pinball. Right. Yeah. But, um, you know, this, this kind of, you know, demon in the hobby kind of came out and it, it's not exclusive to Canada. I mean, if you look at any kind of hobby, there's going to be a guy that just sandbags everything, you know, from Pokemon <laughs> cards to RC cars, I guarantee you. Uh, you know, there's somebody in the model railroading community who is like, you know, lords over everything and has the, yeah. the, the highest, most most notorious model railroading <laughs> podcast. And he's got all 500 members or something, you know, <laughs> and th that's just ours in pinball. I mean, if it wasn't him, it'd probably be someone else. But at this point, I think we would take someone else for that spot. I mean, I've been in this for many years. I think people are generally really nice people. Uh, when this happened to me for a month ago, um, I was like, was this my fault? What did I do wrong? And people start reaching out. That's what I said in the beginning of the video. I'm sure they're reaching out to you. Uh, pinball, uh, you know, oh, I can't say names, <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, oh, no, I get it. And, you know, Since his, yeah, and really what prompted this is he started then, you know, he banned me from his site and then he he rejoined my site and re-liked it and then re-banned himself again. He's He's been posting videos, taking them down, posting them back up again. And so I don't have a way to respond directly to any of this now. Um, so I, I felt the need to, you know what, let me just do a live video. I've, I've got screenshots of the texts. I'll just give my perspective and I'll put the evidence out there. And then at least people can see, you know, I'm not hiding something or, or whatever. No. And, and since then, there's not been five minutes that have gone by that I haven't gotten an email, a Facebook message, a YouTube yeah. comment or something from somebody saying like, you know, yeah. I, I canceled him and I'm, I'm joining yours. Send me a T-shirt. Like, you know, I, I've gone to the post office every day now with bundles of packages. People are, you know, you got more merchandise. Patreon people. Yeah. People want stickers to put up to like solidarity against, you know, this you know, kind of negative. But did your Patreon support in increase for the last 48 hours? It doubled is what it's done. In the last 48 <laughs> what? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. 
you know, I had a solid group of like 11 people and the Patreon's only been going on for a month or two. I've only been doing a podcast for eight months. Um, but yeah, just in the last 48 hours, I, I've doubled now. And, oh, congratulations, uh, <laughs> man. Congratulations. When all this happened to me, I mean, one of the guys was uh, Zach Manny from Flipping Out. Mm -hmm. He reached out and he said, Genghis, um, I watched your video. I felt your pain because something like this happened to him. Yeah. And, you know, pinball uh, builders, let me just say it like that. People from the different manufacturers, they reached out and they told their story. And it was like, it was just the same <laughs> as mine. When you get too close to Chris or Canada, I don't want to, I don't know what you want to call him here, but I've got he some said words. that he loves you and F you, right? Right. Yeah. 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 I, it's not like I was seeking out this guy's approval. Like it started out, I would just join his live streams because he did them so frequently. And it was fun interacting with the rest of the community, kind of using him as the platform. Um, you know, it, it, I came into his house basically and tried to behave myself as best I can. But then, you know, I would post things and it was just immediate, like, here's some negativity for you, dude, for some reason. But we're boys, right? And I'm like, <laughs> you kind of no, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> Stop it. I don't, I don't know. The whole thing that's sad about it is I really just don't understand why. Like, what the, what's the point of that? Um, yeah. You know, I will also shout out uh, Mr. Zach, Benny. Uh, he reached out to me too. Same thing. So, you know, it, it, I've had yeah. having distributors have reached out to me. Pinball yeah. players have reached out to me. Arcade Collectors. owners. Manufacturers have come out. Um, These <laughs> Patreon supporters, people on his shows, they reached out to you, right? Abs yeah, people came yeah. out and they're like, I just canceled him and I just joined yeah. your Patreon. Send me some stickers, please. How much do you want? I'm like, <laughs> it's in the mail, buddy. It's coming. <laughs> Man, it, it, it's so sad. And, and you know, I made shows with him. So his army or what you want to call it, they're contacting me. Where is he? Is he good? Is he gone for good? And... <sighs> You know, I, I don't want to. I don't want to invite any any negative attention. I but I've had exactly one army member come and, and cause some disruption on my Facebook page, and I, I chuckled and blocked. So uh, that, okay. that's the extent of it so far. Maybe the deluge is coming. I don't know, but you know. Um, Don, usually when we when we do stuff like this, I never edit. I upload because of the respect of the guy that I'm filming. I upload one to one. Yeah. But for the last 48 hours, I have got some screenshots. I have got a link to that video of him that's, um, I don't, that it's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that I don't know, can, can you hear that him? Sent that to me. Um, can yeah, you hear this? Yeah. Oh, let's go. Fuck, fuck. fuck them all. It's over. It's over. It's over. You've been having it's that over. Excuses and his Facebook live and his newbie stuff. And we're just gonna go to Wolfgang's Steakhouse. Wolfgang's right? Wolfgang's, Wolfgang's, yeah, 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 Wolfgang's, yeah,
that goes in and defends you. Oh, uh, dude, that is been, that's one of the best things, man. Just, people are going on there like yeah. the Dawn Army is on there. And I, I did not release the dogs. I didn't even know I had one. But people are like, yo, stop it. And they're like, like manufacturers are going on there and doing that and sending me this stuff. Yeah. Like, like I, I've is- gotten more connections the last 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> so he's helping you can't you see it <laughs> this is yeah my, my plan is finally in its final phase now this yeah. is exactly why i got into this right uh, he, one of his very very close friends uh jack eldridge or he he has got this jack bar john eldridge yeah jack bar john new eldridge, york city yeah, big place yeah. right yeah and, and and he says that they are very, very close and i actually got screenshot of his comment on Canada's page where he says that it's really wrong the way he uh, acted towards you and your wife and he should go in and apologize and stuff like that really pissed Canada off and um, maybe that's what that pushed him I don't know if it's only because of you but because it feels like you're not the kind of guy that pushes back now, don't get me wrong. For a month ago, I made my own show. <laughs> and in that show, I called you for Dom. I didn't know you that well. Now I know. And I'm sorry again. And on that show, I said that he effed you and he effed me. And I said, I couldn't take it. But you could. You have very thick skin. But your wife, what, uh, Monica? Monica, yeah. She's so cool. <laughs> I mean, respect. I mean, Buy her some flowers and chocolate. I mean, Check her out. It's so cool. She has your back. She, she's I mean, a, she's about- an equal part of this, man. Like she legitimately likes pinball too. Like we got into this yeah. together. You know, um, yeah. you know, her talents lie behind a microphone. <laughs> she's not you know comfortable being here. And I, I'm a and clown. How- I love to be on stage, so I have no problem <laughs> doing that. And Don, how you yeah. use your money? It's irrelevant. I mean, you earn your money. If you have got student loans, who cares, man? I think it's so cool in a year you have got like, what's 50, $100,000 of collection. It's so cool. More love. Buy some more. Get a bigger collection. Just enjoy your hobby, man. I Do mean, what yeah. you love. You know, I, I, this isn't like a financial podcast, so I don't go through like my, my personal financial details and investments and everything. But I follow the general rules. You know, I, I, I work extra to spend on luxuries. Right. You know, the, yeah. the basics are all covered. The, the 401k is funded. You know, everything's getting taken care of. Family's going on vacation. And I yeah. happen to have this you know fun kind of outlet that, you know, since I've launched this, I've been able to enjoy like even deeper, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I, I went out to Spooky Pinball's headquarters yesterday and, and did a sit down interview with these guys. Yeah, I listened to that show this morning. It was a great episode, man. It was so well done. I wish you filmed it instead of podcast, but it is what it is. It was so cool. And the kid over there, the son, what's his name? Oh, Corwin, Bug. But yeah. what, a, what a sweetheart, man. I really like that kid. He, he's always I, smiling, always positive. Such I, I mean, a cool kid. Since the first day I met that guy at MGC when I bought Halloween, like he's he just he's just enthusiastic. And these are people that just really like pinball, and it's fun to be around that kind of energy, um, yeah, rather yeah. than people that that kind of just use pinball as a means to get out in front of people and, and antagonize. I guess. So, do you think <laughs> that that this is just a media stunt, or do you think Canada will come back? Yes. Probably, probably it's a bit of both. Um, uh, I, I don't, okay, as far as I'm concerned, he has no relevancy at all. So unless someone brings him up, I don't even think I'll, I, I think he just won't even cross my mind. You know, um, I'm just still you know going and doing what I'm, I'm doing. I've got more video equipment coming. I've got uh, so many ideas of things that I would like to do. Um, I'm actually I got invited to be on a panel discussion at Expo this year um, through through my distributor, Mad Pinball, about oh, cool. marketing. Marketing yeah, and pinball. Yeah. That's that's what I'm going to speak as an expert on now. And I know so you I, have two. The three. universe, it seems, is with, not without a sense of irony. So cool, man. I know you have some other things going on that you shared with me. And I know you're a hard worker because sometimes when you're out, when you say I'm on a 24 hour work, then you contact me. We're talking and you're working hard for your money. How you use it, it's up to you. And upcoming stuff from Don's Pinball Podcast. Go and subscribe. Follow him. He has some great stuff coming up. I don't want to tell the details, but it's so cool. Don. It's going to be fun, man. Come along for the ride.
<laughs> yeah, baby, just have fun. Pinball is fun. Fun and positive, man. We're positivity. I mean, I have a longer history with Canada. Let me tell you what's going to happen, okay? Give me 30 seconds. Perfect. Now Canada Four has years. got like 600, 700 subscribe, uh, patron supporters that give some money. But at the end of the day, he needs to have new supporters, new money. The way he gets new money is through his Facebook Saturday Spectacular show, right? So at the end of the day, he will come back. And the way he'll come back will be like this. Don, let's just bury the hatchet. It's water <laughs> under the bridge. Nothing happened. It's just drama. We're all positive here. Nothing happened. Forget about it. Let's just move on. Nothing happened. It's just drama. Yeah. I'll tell him exactly where he can bury the hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> Sideways. Sideways. I mean, if he... If he was genuine, if he really said, okay, something did happen, and I'm really sorry, he, he won't reach like that. He will just say, nothing happened, just move on. Just like, you know, when I said, you can't cut my arm off, and next day say, nothing happened, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, when, when people tell you how they are through their actions, believe them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we've seen this enough now. Um, yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. Unless someone brings him in, I just, it's, I just not, not something that's even going to occur to me to think about, honestly. Well, when this happened, I tried to contact you because you were really kind towards me when this happened to me, and I wanted to not pay back, but you know, act the same way at least. So I tried to contact you, but when I reached out, you were on your way to Spooky, so we couldn't talk about this. <laughs> and I just want to ask you, are yeah. you okay? Are you okay? Oh, I, I'm, I'm stupendous, man. I mean, okay. that was really the only kind of like you know, weight or pressure I had on me, and it's gone now, and it, it, it oh. feels fantastic. And okay. then, you know, with, with all the outpouring of support that we have in this community, it's I, I, I'm more enthusiastic about it than I ever was. I'm completely fine. You know, um, my, my only hope is that, you know, honestly, that he's okay and that there's not something else that's going on, you know? But, you know, if, if he needs help, I hope that he finds it. Well, no matter what he did towards me, all his ifs, I didn't attack back because he has been through a lot this year. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really sad for him. And I really like that guy. Um, so I don't want to do nothing negative against him, but... It's not the first time he's doing this. So I think if you are just on his shows, just listen on, you know, then he's a cool guy. But when you get close to him, when you become friends with him, he just fucks you over. Yeah. It's, it's, and it's, it's, I don't understand why, but you're not the first. I'm not the first. He has <laughs> done it many times before. How about Monica? How? What does she know? What What did you tell? Did you tell her about to put a leash on her neck? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> she's been laughing nonstop about this <laughs> the oh, last three okay. days. Okay. It's just like what you know, just completely like what a loser. What the, you know, and and everybody that I've sent this to has texted me back like we are rolling on the floor. Fight the hand that feeds. Where? What the hell is going on? I mean, it's you know, I, I can't diagnose people through the <laughs> internet. But, you know, this is like psychopathy it acts like this, you know, and, and it may be that, you know, characters like this actually don't have any empathy. You know, they can fake it and act like they do, but they truly don't understand the feelings of other people. So they do these sorts of things. And then they're like, well, what's the big deal? Because they they, they lack the, the ability to actually perceive that emotion of like shame or empathy, you know. Oh. So but, I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know well enough to, you know, <laughs> diagnose that or just conjecture maybe that is what's going on i don't know i can't say for sure mm. so on your live show you said that he told he, he called you up and says how can you do this after all all the things i have done for you what, what does he mean and you're on I, his show or what, what i don't know what he, he, does, he does a live stream and, and i've joined it a couple of times but so have a lot of other people um you know uh, I think, you know, initially yeah, I got exposed to an audience through there, but I just as easily could have done that anywhere else. Um, the biggest gain that I got in followers, you know, until this point was when I interviewed Jason Knapp. When he came out, we've had a conversation like the viewers doubled after that and then have continued to climb. So, you know, I mean, that that's the I would not bite Jason Knapp's hand, but that man is a perfect gentleman.
<laughs> oh, he's such a sweet guy. He he's full of Pimba love and pos uh, and positivity. Yeah, yeah. And, and I and saw I he shared one of your shows on his page. And when you are on Jason Knapp's page, I mean, then you're then everybody knows you. <laughs> Fully <laughs> exposed, man. We're getting I, our news from from him. And after Jason Knapp just exploded, I don't watch that many YouTube videos or I'm sorry, that many pods, podcast shows because we have everything at his page. And <laughs> don't get me wrong. I'm, I, mean, I, I do listen to your show. I listened to your show <laughs> this morning um, uh, with Spooky. And after yeah. that, the show you did with your daughter, it was so cool talking about toppers. Cool show. So, so here's the thing. And then the, and the episode with my daughter is a perfect example of it. If you're trying hard and trying to put on a personality and portray that through, you know, social media, try to be an influence or something, it's exhausting. It's hard to keep that up, you know. Yeah. So if you just stick to being just your true, authentic self through through means like this, um, you know, th then people recognize that. And you end up doing better and it's easier and it's way more fun. Honestly, we were hanging out at the house and I was working on projects and my daughter's like, Dad, I really want to do a podcast with you. And I'm like, oh. fired up. Let's go. What are we going to talk about? I don't know. I just got a topper. We'll start with Aaron. We'll see where we go. And like, oh, I've been getting amazing feedback about that episode with Emma. So People are asking for like, like, like a weekly, you know, seventh grader perspective on pinball. Yeah. Like, what, are, what are, do these kids think of this ancient machine? Yeah. <laughs> so she said, like, she had two in her school that knew about pinball. I right. Mean, you have to invite her class over so they can. You know, play some pinball at your place. I mean, class party, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Don and Busters, that's what we're going to call it. It's going to be great. Oh, I have another question. <laughs> yeah. I have another question. I know a lot of people reached out to you. One guy I want to ask about, he's the only guy that didn't reach out to me. That was Greg Bone. Oh, Did he reach okay. out to you? Not yet, but he's he's always welcome. Um, I've met Greg before at the Louisville Expo last year. Um Gracious guy, bubbly personality, um, oh. not hard in the eyes. So I got I, a selfie and I was happy. I love Greg. Actually, I, I asked Zach and I said, yo, after some time we were talking, you know, and I said, man, everybody reached out except your best buddy. What, what's <laughs> going on? And, and he was like, dude, he's not that active online, but he watches your videos. And I mean, he's not that keen of Canada either. <laughs> He said <laughs> for, for sure. <laughs> I mean, he really doesn't like Canada, but he was the only one that re that didn't reach out to me. And I love Greg Bone. Nothing there. I just wanted to know if he did reach out to you. <laughs> no, I, I remain a fan of the guy and, and the stuff yeah, that he yeah. does. So, yeah. um, you know, I don't think it's anything sure. malicious or anything. Not everybody is. You know, some people are busy, you know, and, and I'm busy twenty four seven. But I'm a little nuts, so I'll still I'm still down to jump on. And, and record something. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. Bro, thank you for joining. Thank you for sharing everything. Let's just share this because people are asking you, people are asking me what's going on. Now we can just link to this video and everybody can yeah. see what's going there's, on. Yeah, and there's, there's a lot more background information too on the Patreon now. Now I've got fodder for the paywall. So yeah, Patreon's five dollars a month for me. I've got a whole podcast I did just on the specific topic where I get a little more personal. So that's up there for folks to enjoy. It's my five dollar tip jar if you're interested. Otherwise, email me and reach out. Don's Pinball Podcast yeah. at gmail.com is a great way to get a hold of me. Uh, follow yeah, the Facebook absolutely. page. I'm on there several times a day. Yeah. Oh, you got a great. I mean, I also want to say. I also want to say. I don't. You're new, but I want to say congratulations <laughs> with your success. Really? I mean, your show, it's going real 64 episodes now, right? Yeah, yeah this was episode 64, and I'm going to hit 100 <laughs> this year probably. And your Facebook page, you are over 400 followers there. 50 in the last day, yeah. Nuts. <laughs> there you can see. So Canada is doing a little bit for you, <laughs> after <Yeah>. all. <laughs> I, just, I keep finding things to, to talk about in this hobby that are fun for me. And I think, you know, well, let me post them and see if they're fun for someone else, you know. So we're, we're just having a good time. You have got Honestly. new energy. It's so cool. Last week you you wrote to me. You were out somewhere. You were playing, and you tried mm -hmm. out you know high speed two, and then Great. you tried the um, what's the other one you said that was really cool? Uh, no fear. You yes. Were, yes. Yeah, this was a positive surprise, and I was like, oh man, <laughs> it's such a cool. So 
good with new energy, mm -hmm. new people in the hobby. So again, most welcome and congratulations with your success. And I'm happy that you're okay after yeah. all of this. Uh, and I um, and I just hope you're the best, my friend. Thank you, and brother. We, yeah, brother, brother, and <laughs> have a great day. I'll all right, talk okay. to you. I'll talk to you when uh, the next game gets released. Anytime. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it'll be on the get, way here, man. When do FedEx you get knows where Venom? I live. How uh, about Venom? Probably like four weeks, I think. We'll be ready. Uh, did you buy a uh, WWE World Wrestling? I've been looking, and I can't decide between the LE or the regular one because, like, classic wrestlers, wrestlers on the one hand and The Rock and Cena on the other? I don't know. John Cena and The Rock, it's so cool, man. <laughs> I, I love the pro, but we don't we don't have them over here, so uh, I think this is the only one in my country. Yeah. So you tagged me. You said this is for Genghis. You were out somewhere playing the pro version? I was at Helicon in, uh, in just south of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Great That's arcade. Uh, and they got a WWE. And so I got to play it with renewed passion and interest after watching your videos there. Oh, okay. <laughs> How was the volume? Could you hear the music? No, not at all. It's it's a big brewery, so and there's you know 50 games in there. So I, I need to. It's always going to be better in a home environment, you yeah. know. Crank the volume. Bah, 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 bah. Cena oh yes, coming out. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> I have made two gameplay videos and a review video. At the beginning, there were a lot of hate, but now people are like, "What is it that good?" And and one guy actually bought it after my video, and he he keeps on writing on the comments, and he's like, "Retro Django, you really thank you, man. I mean, this is a sleeper." I, I think I need to, I think I need to run out today and get one because that yeah. price is about to skyrocket because there's yeah. going to be all this renewed interest yeah. in it. Yeah, so right. Like, now, if there's one on pin side, get it now. Yeah, <laughs> right now. And that's I'm gonna really be the eight thousand dollar game. Yeah, it's a cheap game, man. And I, you, you, you can crank out the ba up the bass and volume up to forty. And John Cena music, ah, the rock music. I mean, such an underrated pin. So if you're into Stern and yeah. a great audio package, get one. Get WWE before Wall Street bets on Reddit puts it up there and pumps and dumps. <laughs> yeah, baby. All right, bro. Have a great day. Okay. Thank you, sir. Always. Show. Bye. All right, later.